Um, my name is Adrian Valentin, and I'm one of your constituents. Uh, I need a couple of minutes for the preamble. I need a couple of minutes for the preamble. On February 15th of this year, you received a memo on the economic benefits of oil pipelines from former Deputy Minister Bob Hamilton. This memo was released under Freedom of Information and posted on CBC website in July. Uh, um, a well-known well economist, Robin Allen, uh, analyzed that memo. She reviewed it, and uh, based on her review, uh, the conclusion is that the memo confirms that your actions since you were elected are not focused on getting the facts right or ensuring that cabinet makes an informed decision in December. You are focused on facilitating pipelines development. I'm not done yet. So, uh, Robin Allen, she was interviewed by an environmental organization and there were three misconceptions that she addresses. The first one is the first major misconception is that there is an urgent need for new pipeline capacity to deliver Western Canadian crude oil supply to market. The reply, her analysis, is that there is sufficient transportation infrastructure to meet market demand, not only now, but up until at least 2025. The second major misconception is that markets in Asia exist and we need West Coast Tidewater access to serve these markets. Again, there is no market for Alberta's heavy oil in Asia. Oil industry groups, such as the Canadian Association of Petroleum Producers, make statements that suggest there is a market in Asia, but these representations are not consistent with the facts. Third misconception is that new pipelines are needed to generate economic prosperity. There is no basis, in fact, to support this idea. New transportation capacity will not enhance the price we see for Western Canadian oil. What enhances the price of a raw resource is value added, i.e. upgrading and refining. Producers in Canada want to ship that value down the pipeline along with meaningful jobs so that the benefits are realized in foreign economies. Did you address her concern, sir? If you consult the work of economists on natural resource wealth, and on value added to natural resource wealth, you will get a variety of different views. I am familiar with the work of that economist. Uh, we uh, keep a very close watch of analysis of changing world markets. We pay particular attention to the International Energy Agency, uh, that is headquartered in Paris, which is probably considered to be the most authoritative source on changing energy demands internationally and the role of nation states to try to achieve a balance in the transition we have been discussing. I am in very frequent contact with Fatih Barol, who is the executive director of the International Energy Agency. My first international trip on behalf of Canada was to its annual meeting in Paris. And I think that uh, we have the kind of relationship of trust and respect that puts me in a good position to know some of the best and most enlightened thinking on natural resource economics. Thank you.